Here's your weather video for this Sunday, February the 7th. I'm meteorologist Bill Murray. Lots to talk about this morning, so let's get to it. Here's temperatures and radars uh, across uh, Alabama and adjacent states this morning, uh, showing uh, temperatures already now uh, just above freezing in the Tennessee Valley of North Alabama, uh, especially north of the river, where there was some accumulating snow overnight, some uh, dustings uh, on grassy spots, uh, places like Elkmont, Hazel Green, uh, Meridianville, northwest of Huntsville. Uh, no uh, travel problems being experienced at this point, though. Uh, across central Alabama, the AI 20 quarter temperatures are generally uh, near to the lower 40s, with uh, lower to middle 40s to the south of there. A uh, good bit of rain and snow over northern Georgia, some uh, decent snowfall amounts over northeastern Tennessee. Uh, areas of between um, Crossville and Knoxville picking up some three to four inches of snow overnight. Uh, tornado watch continues this morning until 6 a.m., uh, just uh, a little over an hour or a little under an hour as we uh, produce this video. Uh, strong storms now in the Tampa Bay area, uh, pushing over toward Plant City and Lakeland and uh, Orlando at this hour. No warnings, no uh, severe or thunderstorm or tornado warnings in effect at this time. The uh, SPC does have uh, a marginal risk across central Florida this morning with that frontal system hanging out. National Watch Warning Map showing the uh, severe thunderstorm watch in Florida. Uh, also, winter weather advisories and winter storm warnings uh, from eastern Kentucky, eastern Tennessee, up through the uh, uh, areas of western North Carolina, much of Virginia. Uh, some three to six inches of snow uh, expected across that region with some uh, higher amounts as the nor'easter starts to get wrapped up there uh, in uh, the northeastern U.S. around the New York City area and most of that coming late tonight and tomorrow. Uh, model fans, let's get into it. Here's the GFS at noon today, showing all the rain out of Alabama, snow to the northeast, that low uh, centered uh, somewhere uh, off the coast of New Jersey, south of, uh, uh, of Massachusetts, uh, wrapping up not a really intense storm, but bringing uh, some heavier snows to the coastal regions there uh, from the Delmarva up through Long Island into the Cape Cod area. Uh, here in Alabama today, we're basically brightening conditions as we go through the day, starting out kind of cloudy, uh, but we'll see increasing sunshine through the day. Uh, high temperatures in the uh, upper 40s uh, over north Alabama with some uh, lower and middle 50s over central Alabama later today. So all in all, not a bad day. We'll take it uh, given uh, yesterday's dreary conditions. Tonight, temperatures dropping to uh, below freezing over the northern half of the area. Uh, with some middle 30s over south-central Alabama. But skies should be uh, generally fair. Some uh, clouds showing up probably toward morning. Uh, but they'll burn off quickly on Monday. Monday going to be a pretty nice day. Uh, this is the uh, GFS at noon tomorrow showing uh, nice conditions across Alabama. Good bit of sunshine. Uh, temperatures topping out between 60 and 65 degrees. Uh, a few showers might show up Monday night here by early Tuesday morning. Uh, we see the those showers over South Alabama. Some of those could work up into Central Alabama Tuesday, on Monday night, early Tuesday morning. But I don't think we'll experience much in the way of rainfall from that. Overnight lows Monday night, generally in the middle 40s. Wednesday, a few scattered showers still across Alabama. Uh, we'll see uh, very nice temperatures, though, uh, topping out in the uh, upper 60s uh, by Tuesday, uh, or Tuesday and Wednesday. So we'll experience uh, some fairly... Nice conditions for uh, early February, and we'll take it. Uh, this is Wednesday night, showing the uh, rainfall activity really ramping up to the west of Alabama as a big trough develops out there. You see uh, freezing rain potential there from north Texas through southeastern Oklahoma into uh, parts of northern Arkansas, even northwestern Tennessee. Uh, and that freezing rain area sort of wavering around the last few model runs, but stays to the northwest of Alabama. This is Thursday at noon. You can see good bit of wintry precipitation to our northwest from eastern Arkansas into northwestern Tennessee and uh, northwestern Mississippi, parts of Kentucky. Could be uh, quite an ice storm there, so we'll be watching that. But here in Alabama, it's all rain. Uh, we'll be um, lower 60s. doesn't look like much of a chance of thunderstorms, but we'll be keeping an eye on that, of course. And then by Thursday night, the rain starts to move out as the trough begins to progress to the east. Rainfall over southeast Alabama, 
We'll see uh, cooling temperatures uh, Thursday night, upper 30s for much of uh, north and central Alabama as we head toward a colder day for Friday. Now, here are rainfall amounts from the, Q, uh, the QPF of the WPC over the next seven days, showing some fairly substantial amounts, and most of this will be accumulated by Friday morning. Uh, Two-inch amounts over eastern Alabama with a widespread area of one-and-a-half to two-inch amounts over the rest of the state. Here's Friday. Clearing skies across Alabama, cooler. High temperatures in the upper 40s to lower 50s. We'll be uh, probably below freezing by Saturday morning and much colder as we head into Saturday. Here's a Saturday off the GFS showing a high pressure beginning to be in control. We'll be in the 40s, uh, probably having a hard time getting out of the 30s. Uh, across north and central Alabama on Saturday. Uh, jetting forward, we stay dry till uh, Tuesday night, the 16th. This is uh, the um, run at 6 p.m. on um, Tuesday night, 16th, showing a widespread area of freezing rain across central and uh, north central Alabama. And that's, of course, a concern. We've been seeing these uh, fairly consistent signals of ice storm conditions, uh, but they sort of move around. You know, I thought this system coming up this weekend was going to be the big one. Uh, potentially, yeah. but now it looks like this system has got the best potential, and even it, uh, the later runs, the later run of the GFS uh, that came in just uh, a few minutes ago showing the uh, precipitation area mainly displaced to the north, but still some freezing rain for central Alabama. We'll have to watch that. This isn't a forecast. There's no, there's no way we can forecast it this way out. This is Thursday showing snow wrapping around. Well, this is Wednesday night at 6 o'clock. Showing a cold air moving in, snow wrapping around back uh, on the um, north uh, part of Alabama, backside of the low. Uh, plausible, not the forecast at this point, but something that we'll watch. And moving out to the end of the period, hour 378, this is uh, Monday the 22nd, showing another rain area moving into Alabama ahead of a front, but uh, this time it will be all liquid. Temperatures off the GFS, uh, still all over the board here. You see Saturday. Uh, we're just now starting to look at Sunday, but 44 Saturday, 17 on Sunday, uh, bouncing back uh, only into the lower 30s for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Stay below freezing all day on Thursday the 18th. Um, you know, still time's going to tell about this, but uh, it does appear that there is a period of much colder weather uh, coming to us here in Alabama. Great fun on the Weather Brain Show this week. We had the uh, director of the National Weather Service, the, uh, as James says, the tallest hog in the trough. Uh, Louis Uccellini joined us for a long conversation. Lots uh, of uh, nuggets in there. We're going to have some great social scientists uh, tomorrow night talking about the um, uh, folks' perception of severe weather in the southeastern United States and how that affects their ability to respond when there's a tornado. So uh, we'll be talking about that tomorrow night with some really smart folks on Weather Brains. Well, that's your weather video for this Sunday, the 7th of Fe uh, February. Sorry, it's a little long this morning, but lots to talk about. I'll have updates on the blog uh, all day today, and uh, we'll update the forecast around noon. Keep you posted on uh, any new developments that we see uh, coming along. Until I see you next Sunday, as I always tell you, keep an eye to the sky because you'll always have something fun to look at.